All right, we are skipping example number six uh, because it's a lot like number five, so no reason to do it again. Um, if you go ahead and want to do number six, that's fine. Uh, it's another sine function, um, and you should get 7.5. So if you want to go back and do that, that's great. We're just going to skip ahead to number seven. All right, so we have the hill of a roller coaster has an angle of descent or an angle of depression of 60 degrees. Its vertical drop is 195 feet. Estimate the length of the hill. Okay, so we're at the top of this roller coaster, okay, right here, and we're going to assume that it kind of goes down like this. Obviously, roller coasters curve a little bit, but we need to be able to make a triangle out of it. Um, it has a vertical drop, so from the vertical, it's going down 195 feet, and we want to know the length of the hill. We're going to call that x, and we have an angle of depression of 60 degrees. So here's how angles of depression work. They are from your perspective. This is you at the top of the roller coaster looking down. Angles are always measured from the horizontal. So if you look straight out like this, 60 degrees is measured down from there. Okay, so that's where the 60 degree angle is. Now you'll notice that 60 degree angle is not in our triangle. Uh, so we need to fix that. So there's a couple different ways you could do that. You could say, well, these have to make a 90 degree angle. So if this is 60 degrees, this angle up here is 30 degrees, which would be a perfectly acceptable way to do this. The other way you could do this is you could think about parallel lines and a transversal. And remember that alternate interior angles are congruent. So this angle down here has to be 60. And either way is totally fine. I'm going to go ahead and work with it this way. So now, going from this 60 degree angle that is actually in our triangle, we have an opposite and we have a hypotenuse. So when I think about Sokotoa, I am looking for the one that has opposite and hypotenuse, which is going to be sine. So I'm going to write that the sine of the angle, so the sine of 60 degrees, is opposite over hypotenuse. We need to solve for x. Right now the x is in the denominator, so I'm going to multiply both sides by x. So I get x sine of 60 equals 195, and then we're going to divide both sides by the sine of 60. Um, we'll put that in the calculator quick, and 225.2 feet. All right, the last thing that we are not going to spend a whole lot of time on right now is inverse functions. Um, so inverse, remember, inverse things undo. So if, uh, if we're adding the inverses to subtract, we're multiplying the inverses to divide. Uh, so we can have inverse of trig functions, and we're going to investigate these a little more in depth next chapter. Um, but if we have the sine of an angle, uh, we can take the inverse of that. Okay, So we, we call this thing the inverse sine. It looks like sine to the negative one, but it's not. It's called the inverse sine. We also have inverse cosine and inverse tangent. On your calculator, those are located above the sine, cosine, and tangent keys. Inverse functions are used to find angles. Okay, so we'll see an example of that right here at the right. And like I said, this is a review from uh, geometry, so it shouldn't be too much of a stretch here. Um, we have a 12-foot ramp that has a vertical rise of 3 feet. So we have a ramp that's going up. It's 12 feet long, and it rises 3 feet. So there's our triangle. We want to know what's the angle of elevation. So from the horizontal, our angle up. So this is what we're looking for. I'm just going to call it theta. We're going to think about it the same way. Uh, 3 is from our angle theta. 3 is opposite. And 12 is the hypotenuse. So we're going to think about Sokotoa. And we want to choose the one that has opposite and hypotenuse, which is sine again. Seem to be using sine a lot today. So we have sine of theta, that's our angle, is opposite over hypotenuse. 3 over 12. Now, we are trying to find out what theta is. We're trying to find that angle. So I need a way to undo sine. I need the opposite of sine. 
Well, the opposite of sine is inverse sine. So I'm going to take the inverse sine of both sides. Inverses cancel each other out. So inverse sine and sine will cancel each other out. So then I'm just left with theta is the inverse sine of 3 twelfths. So now you're going to put that into your calculator. You'll hit the second and sine. That gets you inverse sine. And then you do 3 twelfths. And the answer should be 14.5 degrees. So hopefully all of this right triangle trig stuff felt, feels very familiar. You did all of this in geometry last year. Um, we're going to continue building on this foundation um, in later lessons.